Today on our 2021 Ford F-250, we're gonna be taking a look at the Stability Plus helper springs. With the extra suspension components installed, we loaded up a big old water tank, it's about 1,500 pounds, and we're gonna take it up on our test course just to see how it does. So even after that first bump, I could definitely feel my truck just being more responsive. It's a little bit tighter where it doesn't just go down and comes back up and kind of rocks. I can definitely feel it. And I have many other loads that are a lot heavier than this. So this is on the medium setting, so we can either tighten it up or loosen it up. But on the medium setting, this is like perfect. There are a bunch of different ways to beef up your suspension. I definitely like this one just because it's really low profile. It's just pretty much half of a leaf spring. But there are some other ones on our websites. One is the Roadmaster kit, which uses a spring instead of a leaf spring. So just a coiled spring. And it does have some adjustments like we have here. We have three different holes. I'm using the middle just because it's kind of the middle ground. If we did have some heavier loads, we can use the upper hole right here to keep it a little bit closer. And then if we have some lighter stuff, we can go down at the bottom. Another way to enhance your suspension is just by replacing the factory bump stops right here. And the ones we sell are a little bit bigger. So with those, you're not really getting any suspension enhancement right off the bat. It's whenever your suspension sags enough, then those bump stops are gonna kick in. But this, it's gonna be right away. And depending on how we set it up and how we adjust it, it's pretty much just going to accommodate for whatever kind of loads that you're hauling. So with this one and the Roadmaster, I think they kind of work relatively the same, but this one was a little bit easier to install. It didn't really take a whole lot of time to install it. Very, very simple and basic. Only needed a couple different size sockets to get it installed. So we're gonna teach you how to put it on. Step one, chalk the front of the wheels of the pickup truck. Step two, we wanna jack this thing up in the back. We wanna make sure that that axle is gonna be hanging. So you just want to see a little sliver of light underneath your tire. So that suspension is completely sagging and you can jack it up from wherever on the frame. Just make sure you have a jack stand and put those underneath to make sure it's nice and safe. Now we can go and start to kind of assemble the suspension component and get it ready for underneath. So what I like to do with any install that I do is you take everything and kind of lay it out, divide it all up because it's going to be an equal amount of parts going to this spring compared to the other one. So now what we want to do is we're going to take this little rubber piece right here. We have a little hole on the leaf and the rubber piece. Slide this on, take this little bolt, it goes through. Then we want to take our lock washer and then our nut, and we will have to supply our tools to tighten this up. We can tighten this up all the way right now. These brackets have three holes on this side, and that's gonna be for later. So this hole on this side is all by its lonesome. So what we wanna do is one, the flat side, we want that to be facing out. This is the rounded side. And then we're gonna take our little bolt, go through there, put a little plastic washer in between the spring and the bracket. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just like this. And then you can put the nut on there. We don't have to tighten this down right away, but I do just wanna get it all the way down to the nylon just so it'll stay in place. Now you can kind of start to put the component in place. I'm gonna have the rounded side with our little bumper over on this side. And then just make sure that this little tab is gonna be facing up over here. And then we can install our other little bolt. To do that, it's gonna be kind of the same thing. We're gonna take plastic washer, the only difference on this one is we're gonna have a little sleeve. So these are our different adjustments. So the middle one is medium. And what we wanna do is actually, just like the other side, take the metal one and that'll go on the outside of the bracket. Put this through, 
plastic washer go on the inside sleeve plastic washer on the other side of that goes all the way through and then the nut on the other side now we'll take our u-bolt slide this down if you do have a hanger in the way we might have to remove the little bracket that is usually either on the top or the bottom of our leaf springs, but we don't have that, so we don't have to really worry about it. So once that's in place, we'll take our little plate. Once this is on, we can take a washer and then a lock washer and take our nut and get this snugged up to one side. We do the same thing on the other side. When we're tightening this down, you do want to make sure that we're tightening them down nice and even. So let's get it hand tight to start. You want to take a deep well, since we have these threads sticking out, and then we can tighten these up. But I'm just going to go a couple turns with this side couple turns with this side just to make sure it's nice and even. We can tighten these all the way down. Now let's tighten this up 13 16 on this side and then we don't have a whole lot of room on the other side that's going to be a 24 millimeter or a 15 16 we can tighten all these up. Now we're completely done, but one thing you could do if you wanted to trim these down, just because we do have some lines on our truck right now, but you could trim these up just so they're not sticking out as far. But even with a deep well socket, we could still get it on there. But it just depends on what's going on down here. So that is an option, but I'm going to leave it. Next thing, we can just lower down the truck. There we go. And that'll do it for a look at the Stability Plus Helper Springs on our 2021 Ford F-250.